everyone! Welcome to my first extended video of a training session with Remy, my one and a half year old Warm Springs Mustang. Today we were introducing the saddle for the very first time. I wasn't too worried about how she would react if she's used to me pretty much throwing anything and everything on her and having things hanging off her, but we did take it slow to give her time to investigate the new objects. Uh, I was slapping my rope here, letting her hear the sound of the leather and also swung it up a couple times to see what she thought before gently setting it onto her back. Um, I was trying really hard not to tiptoe around her and to just um, be firm about it, but also not have anything seem out of the ordinary. Uh, we walked around a little bit before putting the cinch on just because she hasn't really had anything with a lot of weight on her back, and so I didn't want her to feel trapped by having that weight on her back for the first time and then immediately tightening the cinch. So we just walked around, practiced spatial awareness, practiced um, kind of moving the stirrups around, which I have a bareback pad that has stirrups, so she's pretty used to that. That's what I've been using to get her used to the concept of the saddle, which um, by how today went, looks like it went pretty well. Um, so here I'm just kind of giving her some reassurance, kind of just feeling out what she's telling me, um, getting her out of my space because she has personal space issues. Um, and then at this point, I'm uh, making sure that she's listening to me where I want her to put her feet and then um, rewarding her for that, giving her a little scratch, moving her feet around again just so she doesn't get any ideas and she's giving me my space um so she was listening pretty well she just always wants to kind of step forward on me which we're working on um we did kind of some adjustments to the saddle some more yielding the hindquarters that's been a big thing with her uh, when i first got her she really just wanted to turn her uh, back towards me and her immediate instinct was to kick out um, I decided to go ahead and loosely put the cinch on her as I wanted to lend her, and she seemed to be doing good. Um, she wasn't stressed, she wasn't anxious, she was just she was just kind of vibing. So, went ahead and very loosely put the cinch on her. Um, saddle that I have on her is super tiny, maybe weighs like maybe 15 pounds. Um, so, perfect little Colt starter saddle. Um some nice stirrups on it, you know, leather, squeaky leather, it's an old saddle, so very loud, so good to get them used to the sound of it, um, and then here we're just working on her paying attention to where I am, and making sure she's not walking on top of me, getting her to back out of my space before I send her out on the line, um, so here she's kind of yeah, here she's kind of being a little pushy, so I just sent her out, and uh, she doesn't really seem to care. She's a little bit apprehensive about it. Um, I don't think she really goes above a trot, which usually she's raring to go, so that told me she was a little apprehensive about it, but I just kind of pointed her in the direction, kind of let her go her own pace and let her figure it out as long as she was going the direction that I wanted and wasn't on top of me like she was right there. Um, got a little firmer with her because she wasn't listening to me when I told her to back off. So you can kind of see here she's a little slow. She's a little apprehensive about the saddle being on her. Uh, I'm not pushing her with my body language. My stick's down at my side. And I'm just standing quietly and just letting her go at the pace that I think she should be going at as long as she's going the direction that I'm wanting right now. Um, I wasn't too concerned about pace. Um... But she was she was a little not sure what to think. Um, but like I said, it's not too far from the saddle, uh, the bareback pad that I've been using on her. So here, drawing her in, making sure she's stopping at a good distance. Little nose rub. She was a little too far away, so I had to bring her in a little closer. But um, I think she was interested, more interested in the cat than she was me. But this light that was above me was driving me absolutely nuts the whole time because I felt like I was going to have a seizure or something because it was literally flashing. Um, I was going to ask the barn manager if there was a way I could fix that because it was kind of bothering me. And so here she's not really listening to me, so just really quietly but firmly 
getting her to switch directions and go the way that I'm asking her to go. I don't mind if she switches directions, but um, right now she's kind of she's kind of in her teenage phase, so she's she has a problem with authority sometimes. But um, so you can and I sped this video up because this is literally like a 15 minute long video, and I don't, I don't think you guys want to watch that, but. Um, yeah, she was doing really well, like, you wouldn't, you wouldn't know that, um, let's see, I got her in March, she was basically an untouched filly who was climbing the round pen panels of the catch pen, and the ranch hands were terrified of her, so, I, I'd say she's come pretty far, um, she's really smart, um, she really does like people, which is a little bit of an issue sometimes because she just wants to be, like, right there with you in your space. Um, and I know I'm a little too soft with her sometimes because I'm like, oh, she's just a baby. And then I have to remind myself, no, she's not. She's going to be huge. <laughs> she's a little over 14 hands, which is huge for a Mustang. And she's not even two yet. She won't be two till May. So but she's very attentive to my body language which is good she just really always wants to come in uh sooner than i'd like um and then here i was just kind of like flopping this the rope around kind of seeing what she thought of that she really couldn't care less she was just like i want to go back out to passion mom i want to go eat my breakfast so anyways and then we kind of were working on pressure giving pressure um, I, I don't know what, oh, I'm trying to get her to back. Th this video was so long, I forgot mostly what was in it. Anyways, just trying to get her to move her feet. Um, basically I was just doing everything that I would normally do with her on the ground, except with the saddle. I just didn't want her to feel like anything was out of the ordinary or new. Um, that was just another day, another grind, so... Yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.